My name's John, and I have an addiction. I'm an addict. I buy stuff on Amazon. I'm sorry, I just buy way too much stuff on Amazon. But in my defense, I went out looking for a coupling for a lower steering box connector for the steering shaft in this very same vehicle. And my local, I went to three different parts houses, the closest ones, which it's an hour round trip. They didn't have it. In fact, they couldn't order it. So I went to my friends at Amazon. It'll be here Saturday or else this guy would be running and driving. So what have I been up to? I've continued on the wiring project. I must say that once I kind of surrendered to the wiring harness, just believing how it was labeled, and in this very specific application being a 1979 Jeep, it followed kind of GM protocols, and the folks at GM didn't, didn't disappoint. It, I think I put out one video on it, wiring the engine compartment, however, I was working on the dash, which is all connected now. It's still out of place. I need to wind up that loom. I just have the taillights wired by twisting some wires together just to check and make sure everything's like it should be. But it, uh, it does have headlights. It does have taillights. It does have turn signals in the rear. It does have running lights up here in the front, but for whatever reason, probably due to some error I've made, it's not happy with that connection. It could be ancient turn signal housings, which these guys are super corroded. In fact, I had to repair that one with some solder and some other stuff. So we'll see how that kind of pans out in the future. She's got brand new headlights and she has brand new taillights. The taillights are from, they're basically a universal trailer style one that I did pop a couple holes in the back of this pristine rig here and install however they seem to work just fine i replaced one tail light bulb back there i'm now <laughs> at my local napa i bought bought them out of their little instrument lights the little tiny guys so she does have instrument lights it the voltmeter does work fan motor works i've got a little bit of tweaking and some reinstallation to do there i think i might need to buy a couple switches well, one switch specifically, the fan switch, or maybe in talking to Rick, there's a resistor in the, in the heater motor and that might be goofed up. So we'll have to sally forth from there. But I, I just wanted to make a quick update video for the Jeep. It's continuing to progress. This was a beautiful weekend in October here in Oregon. And unfortunately, I spent most of it here in the shop. So, and now I'll probably spend the rest of my last day off editing this this evening, but whatever. It was fun to, to shoot a little bit of footage here in the shop. I didn't, I wanted to kind of go fast. And the other thing is this, there's a million YouTube videos out there of dudes wiring stuff up at a much higher level than what I'm doing. It frankly looks like spaghetti there under the dash right now. I hope to clean that up, maybe shorten some wires, maybe lengthen some other wires. I've got a really good wire stretcher that's a joke. I don't really have a wire stretcher. It usually involves cutting a piece of wire and adding to it. So there's that. But I ho hope you followed along. I hope you continue to follow along on the progress on this Jeep. I'm really excited to get into some other content, probably more mechanic based and hopefully some driving it around based. I, I'm looking at the windshield just out of frame. And in fact, it's just behind that camera right there. And it needs to get buzzed down to the glass shop to, to have a new windshield installed. I don't even know if any of these cameras will get it, but the chromie fender on this side is still installed. I haven't figured out what I want to do with that. I kind of hesitate, given the patina of this pristine ride, to, to take anything off of it. But I think that fender is probably going to go. In fact, I think both fenders may go. I'm not sure. This, this truck's, like I said, it's been hit everywhere. It's had dudes scratching their names in it for 30 years, 40 years, whatever. And so, you know, we're not dealing with a, a nut and bolt situation here. The back, like I said, came together just this afternoon. I, I got a wild hair I was going to knock off and went back there. I was like, oh, these don't look that hard. And turns out they weren't. So hopefully you've enjoyed some footage of my turn signals in the rear working. The brake light does not work, however, and that's due to, I believe, the brake light switch is stuck on. So I'll, I'll be getting one of those routed out here or mailed out here, whatever. 
and get that fixed. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I got going on, but not not too much. Like I said, pretty slow weekend. Dana's out of out of town this weekend, my weekend. She'll be home t day after tomorrow, and so hopefully we will have some more fun content next weekend. But there's there's no telling what I'm going to get up to. So I hope you're well. I hope you watched this point of the video, and I hope you enjoy your your the rest of your weekend. Should you watch this on a weekend? I, don't, I guess I, I don't know when you're going to watch this, but anyway, I hope you're doing well, and I hope you've stuck around this long. I promise to do better like I do every week. Hopefully that that will be something I can actually do. So have fun. Enjoy. All right. Welcome. <laughs>